So we've been talking about the phone call that President Trump had to Vladimir Putin last week. 90 minutes where he apparently did not talk about election security, but they did have a good laugh. Or at least a broad smile. Or a broad smile, the president said, over the Mueller report. Senior political analyst John Avalon breaks down what Allison says is akin to calling to congratulate the burglar who broke into your house. That's a good way of framing it, Ali. So look, there's at least one person President Trump couldn't wait to talk about the Mueller report to, or as he likes to call it, the Russia hoax, and that's Vladimir Putin. Yes, the bromance seems to be back on after Trump initiated a call to Putin on Friday, and the two leaders talked for more than an hour, including about Mueller. Just that he actually uh, sort of smiled when he said uh, something to the effect that it started off as a mountain and it ended up being a mouse. But he knew that because he knew there was no collusion whatsoever. And when asked whether they discussed Russia's attempts to interfere with America's elections going forward, Trump said this. We didn't discuss that. Really, we didn't discuss it. Now, that's odd, because Russia's election interference is a matter of consensus with everyone except, apparently, the president. Remember, the Mueller report found that, quote, the Russian government interfered in the 2016 presidential election in sweeping and systematic fashion. This remains a clear and present danger to America's national security, but don't take my word for it. Here's Trump's own FBI director, Chris Wray. That is not just an election cycle threat. It's pretty much a 365 days a year threat. The Trump administration's own 2019 worldwide threat assessment states, quote, Moscow is now staging cyber attack assets to allow it to disrupt or damage U.S. civilian and military infrastructure during a crisis. And their toolkit may include spreading disinformation, conducting hack and leak operations, manipulating data in a more targeted fashion to influence U.S. policy, actions, and elections. Sound familiar? Finally, here's Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. I don't think, I don't think there's been a discussion between a senior U.S. official and Russians uh, in this administration where we have not raised this issue about our concern about Russia's interference in our elections. Except apparently when that most senior U.S. official is the president of the United States. Instead, after talking with Putin, Trump fired off this tweet, praising the, quote, potential for a good slash great relationship with Russia, despite what you read and see. It's almost as if the president doesn't want to deal with Russia's attempts to influence our elections, past or present. Actually, that's exactly what's occurring, according to reporting by The New York Times. Now, Sarah Sanders attempted some cleanup on Isle Trump. What I can tell you is that this administration, unlike the previous one, takes election meddling seriously. Okay, it's worth remembering that Obama did warn Putin, Putin personally, and the intelligence community issued a report before the election about Russian meddling. It was a big issue in the closing months of the campaign, hotly denied by candidate Trump. But according to Joe Biden, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell balked at a bipartisan statement condemning Russian interference. McConnell's office denies this. But all of that's ancient history. What's troubling now is that by all responsible accounts, Russia is ramping up its attempts to interfere in America's upcoming elections. Someone should tell the president or ask him why he doesn't seem to care. And that's your reality check. John, it's just crazy. How can Sarah Sanders say that the president takes this seriously when he is calling the culprit who broke into our house? He is calling him for a friendly conversation. The victim is calling the culprit. When you got nothing, you pretend that something else is happening. It's not just a river in Egypt. All right, John Avalon, thank you very much.